this video, we're going to be talking about Facebook's audience insight tool, why Facebook is doing away with this tool, why you don't need to worry, and the alternative that all the pros have been using for a long time that beat out audience insights. If this is your first time here, my name is Armando and I help small business owners and entrepreneurs leverage Facebook so they can generate more leads and make more sales. And if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Now, if you've been around for some time, you're no stranger to Facebook's audience insight tool. It's one of the tools that was introduced by Facebook back in the day that allowed you to find hidden audiences or audiences that you could basically target. It's really designed to help you find interest of people so that you can overlap those interests and get closer to your ideal target. But like everything else over the years, Facebook has made changes to these tools. And in 2018, they removed the ability to analyze segmented audiences. The other thing that you may have experienced with this tool is that it's extremely buggy. There are times where the tool just simply doesn't work, where it returns data that isn't correct, and the audiences aren't always useful. One of the things that really bugs me about audience insights is that not every single interest that shows up is targetable, meaning you cannot target or get in front of specific pages or audiences that audience insights itself shows you. And a lot of those audiences that you can target don't even show up on audience insights because it only gives you a limited availability of audiences. And with the changes of iOS 14 coming about, it's my guess that Facebook is doing away with this because their data is just simply not reliable anymore moving forward for audience insights. However, you don't need to panic because there is definitely a better tool out there that pros have been using for a long time that trumps audience insights. Basically, this tool is connected to Facebook's API, marketing API, and reveals not just the limit of 25 audiences, but opens everything up on a developer side that gives you audiences that even you can't find on audience insights or within business manager. So we're going to jump into that tool and take a look at it right now. Here is what audience insights looks like. And this is the message that everyone's been getting. The audience insights tool is going away starting July 21st. Now, don't even worry about this because audience insights is not really that reliable to begin with. And if you're using audience insights and nothing else, then you're missing out on a gold mine of possibilities. Now, here's what I mean by that. Most people are using audience insights just to kind of overlap audiences, but there is a better tool out there. Now, if you want to follow along with this video, there is a link in the description that goes to that tool. Uh, it's a tool that a lot of the pros use. It's a tool that I use myself to discover audiences that actually convert on Facebook across all my clients. So what we're going to be talking about here today is a tool called Interest Explorer. Now, what does Interest Explorer do? Well, Interest Explorer taps into Facebook's marketing API and it's able to bypass or dig deeper into the data than just what Facebook gives you. Typically when you're inside business manager uh, and you're looking at detailed targeting, you only see 25 interests and these 25 interests are the exact same interest that everyone else is going after. So you are literally competing with everyone who's creating ads on Facebook with these interests. There's no other interest to target. And it's the same thing for the audience insights tool. Whenever you go into audience insights and you're looking for something like, let's say fishing and you click on this and you go to the page like section, these top categories and these pages with their affinity are the exact same pages that everyone else is gonna is gonna get and these categories in here are the exact same categories that everyone's going to be shown and not every single one of these categories as you already know can be targeted so you're very limited even with audience insight so that's why it's very important to know that audience insight really doesn't matter it's not going to do much for you um in the long run but this tool right here Interest Explorer is a little hidden gem that pros are using and have been using for a while to get an edge up on the competition. Now I'm going to show you how this tool works. And again, there is a link in the description if you want to snag this tool. They're super affordable. So here's what here's what happens in this tool. Basically, you are looking for an interest. So let's say that you are in the um, contractor space and you're looking for homeowners but also people who are interested in home improvement so one of the things that you can do here is type in um, the Home Depot right and if you look for the Home Depot this tool is going to show you audiences interested interest straight up from the Facebook marketing API and these are interests oftentimes that are not available 
inside audience insights or inside the facebook business manager so you can kind of see you have the home depot but you have stub hub center home depot career centers and you have all these different things that are related to this category now the neat thing about this tool is that you can go ahead and click any one of these categories and i want to let's say add some of these things there build.com pampered chef true value this old house um and a few of the other items in here what this tool does is it gives you the audience sizes of those of those uh interests along whether along with the information of whether or not facebook has a category on it or you can search for it in google to see what's going on and the other thing that you can do is you can explore this a little bit further by clicking this magnifying glass if you click on the magnifying glass it basically takes that interest and broadens it up some more it shows you 34 other interests that are related to the one that you just clicked that way you can dig deeper into you know what's going on here um, with your audiences one of the other neat things about this tool is that you have the ability to actually save this to a project. And if you save it to the project, I'm gonna show you what that looks like, that this tool will allow you to sort of create layers here. So if I click on all these, all these interests that I found hidden inside of their marketing API, I can click layer interest and then I can add an additional layer here and I can start to put these categories into those layers there, right? So I can I can add layers of this random, randomly or by audience size. So I can randomly select my interest that I picked and layer them over to create a completely new segment, or I can just group them by audience size. So this will allow me to just copy this and paste it in Facebook and build out my campaigns. Now, the reason this tool right here is, is, in my opinion, at least the best option for audience insights is because it's tapping directly into the Facebook marketing API, the data that they have. Um, and a lot of these interests are hidden anyway, so you can find them inside of audience insights or inside of business manager. So if you want to build better campaigns and you want to get even more precise with your audience, then I highly recommend something like Interest Explorer. Now, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in this tool, again, there is a link in the description that you can go ahead and snag this tool up. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.